everyone it is a beautiful monday morning it is almost 10 o'clock already and i am sitting in the parking lot of michael's because i decided i needed to do a little project today <laughs> so i'm going to grab some of the supplies that i need and then i'm going to hurry on home because i have about an hour i stole my husband's car because he wasn't going to leave for about an hour i'm like okay i'll be back in an hour so i have to hurry hurry which will be good because michael's is a very naughty store for me and I could spend hours in there so I'm not gonna allow myself to do that today um this week is gonna be like really easy in the first couple days and then come Thursday things are gonna get a little crazy Thursday my daughter my oldest daughter Jasmine is turning 17 what on earth is happening I don't understand it I can I can't even wrap my hand my mind around the fact that she's 17 there's no way that I should have a 17 year old I just I I think the math someone's doing funky math that's what's happening right here because she can only be like 10 she's 10 yeah she's 10 <laughs> anyway so I have to deal with that the next couple days realizing that my daughter is gonna be 17 it just doesn't seem possible <sighs> all right that little rant is over so anyways I have been working away this morning already. I got two loads of laundry done. I did my kitchen cleaning for the day and I have done a little bit of editing already. So I need to get done at Michael's here real quick and get home quickly, film a little video. And then I think I'm going walking with my sister or we're going to the gym. I'm not real sure. One of the two will happen today. I'm actually hoping we're gonna go walking outside cause it's just gorgeous out. There's a nice breeze. And it is already 58 degrees and it's almost 10 o'clock. So it's going to be a gorgeous day. But the bad thing is, I don't know, the last couple of days, the pollen count has gone way up because my head is just like, and it's just like full and I got a headache and it's just craziness. But that's okay because it's beautiful outside. I can deal with it when it is gorgeous like this. I love weather that's like mid 60s. Oh, it's just my favorite time of the year. So I am hoping we're going to go for a walk. So anyways, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to go into Michael's. I'm going to get my stuff and I'm going to get out of there as fast as I can. So I have my planner set up for the week. Pretty scarce in the beginning of the week, but end of the week, things start happening come Thursday. Thursday is my daughter's 17th birthday. If we, I'm in shock when I saw that number, 17. Crazy, crazy. And then this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. And I still need to talk to my husband, but last year I went to the cabin with my mom and dad and my sister. We went kayaking and stuff. I'm thinking we may do that again this year. So then I also have my meal plans and then my video upload schedule. So that is all done. And look, I even put stickers on this time. I really like those. I am really loving these little checkbox stickers. I'm running out of them though. So then I used a little flag sticker and like kind of made my own little checkbox. I think it's kind of cute. Not exactly um, as official as something like this. But it does the trick because I am running out of my checkbox stickers. <sighs> I have to find some more. So anyways, so I have the calendars done for the week. That's awesome. And then I am running with this to-do list for projects for me. This is the third week I've done it now. Last first week obviously didn't go very well if you remember back in the vlog. But... Last week went pretty good. I was up, I was on schedule until I hit Thursday, and then I overscheduled myself, I think, because of what else I had going on that those days. 
So this week I've taken into account what's on my calendar as to what I'm going to do each day. And it's a little, a little more lean towards the end of the week. So yeah. So hopefully I can get through my list again this week and stay on schedule because I'm really liking this idea. And it seems to be working really well with me trying to get myself motivated to do things. There we go. I'm all planned and have everything all scheduled for the week. So I am sitting pretty. <sighs> all right. My sister came over and we went for a walk and we also went to Aldi. Just real quick, I had a few things. I went for juice boxes because we don't have any juice boxes for lunches this week. So let me turn you around and I'll show you what I got. I went for juice boxes and goldfish for our kids lunches this week. Just to round out their lunches that I had. And then I saw this. It's um, their lemon pound cake. I made this for Easter and it was a huge hit. And they had it on sale for $1.99, so I picked up two boxes of that, a thing of butter, some salt, and then I'm going to try tuna fish for like Emily and Zoe, see if they like it. So I picked up two packages of their chunky light tuna in water, and then I needed shredded cheese, and I hadn't seen this before, they had a two pound bag, it was like $5.89. It seems a little high to me, but I need cheese, so this will get me through. And then Mama wanted ice cream, so I got some ice cream bars. Oh my goodness, don't those look amazing? I love these things so much. And then finally I picked up some tortilla chips because it's kind of nice to have around. So, so that's my little mini Aldi haul, and that should get me through the end of the week with all the other stuff that I have. So I will do big grocery shopping next week so that is the plan so I'm gonna get this stuff put away and then I'm going to have lunch because I am quite hungry and then not sure obviously we'll work on some projects this afternoon so that's my plan and I will check in with you later bye hello there it is getting a little overcast Shelby girl and I are out in the backyard just hanging out it's nice and cool out here I'm wondering, it was looking like it might rain. I wanted to get some work done. Um, I gathered my supplies and I want to make something out of a pallet. And so I have this pallet here that I need to break up. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to attempt. I have a crowbar and a hammer. Hopefully that'll do the trick. I've never taken a pallet apart before. There's a Zoe. <laughs> Sitting so, in a chair. So Zoe, we set this thing up yesterday. I need to pass. The hammock. Oh yes, you did. Very nice. A hammock swing. So we've got that swing and then Emily's out there in the other hammock. Hammock swing. Emily does not want to be there. Why don't I'll, you demonstrate? <laughs> Ow, this rocks. I don't have shoes on. Yeah, you should really have <laughs> shoes on. You're going to bring those dirty feet into the house and then you're going to track dirt oh, out. Oh. So. It's straight in. Oops. Oh no, it dropped a Jolly Rancher. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tippy. a little tippy. Well, that's because it's a hammock chair. So anyways, we installed that yesterday. We got it at Menards last week when I went. Swing. It was only like $18. I thought that was a steal. <laughs> she almost fell out of the hammock. And Emily almost fell out of the hammock. But anyways. No, I just dropped my phone in panic. Oh, don't drop your iPad on your face. That'll sting. Nah, man. So anyways, the plan is to get this all flattened out over here eventually. But for now... The swing works just fine there, as long as you're not twirling. All right, so I'm going to try to take this pallet apart now before I run out of energy for the day. And Emily was gracious enough to get our dinner casserole in the oven, put together and put in the oven. So I've got about an hour before that is ready. 
and I have to get the rest of the stuff ready for the dinner. So I'm going to get started. Alright, so I got the palette all tore apart, and that is what I am left with that I can use. So, more than enough wood that I need. So, yeah, tomorrow I can get started on the building. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, people, I am way too late. It is almost 11.30, and I'm going to turn into a pumpkin priest, and I can barely keep my eyes open. I was editing something that I needed to get done in order to stick to my schedule for the week. So I had to get it done. So I was determined not to get behind on Monday. <sighs> so I got it done and now I'm gonna go drag myself to bed and I shall see you in the morning. Night. Tuesday morning and the kids are all in school. JJ's working from home today, I think. I don't know. It's almost 10 o'clock and I've been running around like a crazy person today, cleaning up stuff and getting prepped for the projects I want to get done today. So I have one more load of laundry to hang and then I can actually work on what I want to work on today. So the thing I want to work on today is my craft area. I wanted to film a craft tour but this place is a disaster area, so <laughs> I have to clean it first. <sighs> oh well. So I want to get that done today, and I've got a couple other things I want to work on and film today also. So we'll just see how far I can get today. I'm hoping I can get a lot done because there's nothing else on the books. Jazzy do ha does have to go to work today, but that is it. Other than pickups today, I don't have anything else going on, so I should be able to bust out a whole bunch of projects is what I'm thinking. So. I am going to grab the little laundry that needs to go in and take it downstairs and get started on my craft area. Alright, so here's the current state of my craft area. The surface is completely cluttered. The floor is cluttered with stuff. I've got stuff over here on the bench that needs to get put away. And then stuff up here that needs to get put away. And just it's just a general it's just been a dumping ground for the last week or so this area is actually looking a lot better because I worked on it a little bit last night when you couldn't even see the desk last night so there has been improvement but not enough so I'm gonna get this cleaned up real quickly Shelby girl, did you find a nice sunny spot? Look at that. She's in just that teeny tiny little sliver of sunlight. Oh, you look so comfy. Are you comfy? Yeah. You're so cute. I'm just going to go do some work. I'm going to go do some work. You going to rest? Okay, bye. Okay, so I finished cleaning the craft area so now I can film my tour so I can get that up here soon in the next week or so. So I'm very excited to get that job done but it is already 11:30, and I still have like three other projects I want to work on today. Oh, Everything's taking longer than I expected today. I did do an extra load of laundry this morning um, which I wasn't planning to do but I went ahead and did it anyway so that kind of took a little longer than Anticipated also, but really not that long. So cleaning up this craft area totally took longer than I expected it to. So, oh well, what you gonna do? At least it's done now and it's looking pretty. So <laughs> I am gonna film my, um, do some filming and then it'll probably be lunchtime. And before you know it, it's gonna be time to pick up the kiddos. So I will talk to you in a bit. Hi. All right, so it is about 4.30, 5 o'clock. <sighs> there's lights on in the computer room and there's no one in there. Ooh, chaps my buns. All right, um, 
I just got back. I dropped Jasmine off at work at 4 o'clock, so she was so nervous. Oh, I'm so... I'm hoping she's doing okay. She Because it was like her first day of actually, like, going and training for the job she's going to be doing. And she had to, like, wear her uniform and she had to wear her shirt tucked in, which I don't think she's ever wore her shirt tucked in in her life. So she, like, didn't know how to do that. <laughs> oh. So anyways... I, I hope she's doing okay now and like settling into what they're doing so hopefully so I'm not even sure what time she's done tonight I think she's done about seven o'clock but she wasn't really sure so um, yeah so anyways I cross my finger that everything is going well and she's not like freaking out because you know those first couple days when they're training you are the hardest days because there's so much information you're being bombarded with you're like I'm never gonna remember all this so yeah, it's a little stressful, and this being her very first job ever, I'm sure it's even more stressful. If you can remember back, I'm not sure. I remember being really stressed out on my first day of work, so yeah. So anyways, that is happening now. I don't know where the rest of my family is. I know Emily and Zoe are home, but they're like off in their room doing their own thing, and my husband is working. So, yeah, the, the house is really quiet right now, so it's kind of nice. And Shelby Girl's sitting in the backyard. It's kind of nice out. It's kind of overcast, but it's kind of sunny. And, oh my goodness, dandelions in my backyard are atrocious. Just atrocious. So I need to deal with that. But it's not going to happen today. It's going to have to be an outside day tomorrow, I'm thinking. So anyways, I have a few. I have a little bit more of my craft area tour to film because of course my battery ran out on my camera so I had to wait for that to charge so now I'm going to finish that and then I've got a couple other little projects I need to do and then JJ and I are going to go birthday present shopping later this evening so we have a hot date to go do some shopping so that's the rest of the day for you so I will check in with you later if I've got anything else to say bye I totally missed it <laughs> see all that stuff back there? You can't see it, but we have a water main, water main break, and they have this no. huge hole in the in the road. You got me in the picture. I'm Get sorry, I can't let them in the picture. Anyways, so there's a water main break, and we just went past like where it was. There's like this huge hole they got dug up, and you can see water geysering out. <laughs> Geyser. Geysering. That's a word, right. Geyser. There were streams of water going over their heads. It was quite interesting. So they said when I called the dude, it would be the three dude. to four hours. So who knows the how dude. long. The dude <laughs> that answered the phone. <laughs> Hello, uh, water department. This is the dude. This is the dude. So anyways, JJ and I are headed to Fleet Farm to do a little shopping for a certain girl who is turning 17. Can you believe she's turning 17? Yeah, no, I can believe it. I cannot. Because that's what comes after 16. I know that. I know that. But it doesn't seem possible that we are old enough to have a 17 year old. Oh, we're old enough. We're not that old. Oh yeah, we could have like a 30 year old. We're dirt old. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna go do some shopping. Because she wants a new fishing pole. She's like obsessed with going and fishing this summer. And nobody fishes in her family. Nobody fishes. Well, JJ used to fish. I do not fish. When I was a kid. None of us eat fish. We hate but fish. We, yeah. But we're going to, she wants we're to go fishing. Slimy. We stink. <laughs> but she we used, she, she used to go fishing. She was on a fishing kick probably when she was like 10, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So she wants to do it again. She's got a couple friends at school who said we'll go fishing with her. I like to go fishing, so I think that has a lot to do with it. So, anyways. <laughs> so, we're on our way to Fleet Farm. So, yay us. Looks like they're still working. Well, it looks like maybe they're filling in the hole now. That means we got water. There's the water hole.
<laughs> so, so I'm at the high school waiting for Emily again. Got a little bit of a rainy day today, just some sprinkling. It's been kind of overcast, but it's still really nice out. Like my hair's doing some weird things today. I just washed my hair. I really didn't do anything with it. I just kind of let it air dry, and it's doing some funky, funky things today. I'm not really sure what's happening. It's just turning into frizz. Delightful. So. Hopefully Emily won't be very long because I am having a lazy day today. I'm not getting anything done. I pretty much chalked it up to having a lazy day about 10 o'clock this morning. I'm like, that's it. I'm done for the day. <laughs> so it's good to have days like that every now and then. So I just today is the day for it for me today. So I am going to sit here and wait for Emily and then I'm going to go home. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will talk to you later. Bye. morning and I just got done dropping the kids off at school and a quick little trip to Target to round out the presents that I have for Jasmine. So today is her 17th birthday and I don't know if she's very excited. <laughs> she doesn't get too excited about her birthdays anymore because she doesn't like all the attention but yeah. So she's gonna have um she has to work tonight too so i'm like welcome to adult life child <laughs> you have to work on your birthday so yeah so she's got to work till nine o'clock so our festivities will not be until after she gets home from work tonight so that's exciting so it's an exciting day for her and i like to talk to her about many years ago on this glorious day you were born and my life was changed forever and you know she just loves it just loves it so anyways, I've done that a couple times to her this morning, so <laughs> what's the bottom to do but to annoy her children, right? So anyways, so the rest of the day, I got some work to do. I believe I'm going to the thrift store with my sister, and then we're going to go maybe to Menards also, because I have been itching to go buy some plants. So I'm hoping to get there today. I don't know if Carrie's going to go with me or not to that store. I may have to do that alone, because she's not into plants like I am. <laughs> so anyways, that's the plan for the day. So I have just pulled up into my driveway, so I'm going to get inside and get some work done, and I will check in with you later. to the store looked at Menards for flowers and I got this pink one here it is called Savannah pink splash I got two seed geraniums in this pink color I got two of those and then I picked up uh, asparagus fern because I like those and then I was so excited they had boxwoods on sale they were originally 17 and they were only 14 on sale so I picked up not one, but two, and these are, let's see, these are Chicagoland green, so these should only get to be um, about four feet tall, yeah, at the most, so I'm very excited about that, so I want to put some of those out in the garden in the front, and then in the back I want to have the hydrangeas, so that is my plan. So I guess I can walk you down here and show you what my plan is. I have not been out here. Oh, Shelby's rolling in something stinky. Just delightful. Shelby, what you doing? <laughs> so this is what my garden is looking like now. My um, lady's mantle is all the way around this area. There's a whole lot of weeds in front. And then back in the corner, I have a hydrangea. I believe that's a uh, limelight. And then I got a little weed patch. And then this is another hydrangea right here. And then I have some sedums in front. Then over here, 
back there, that stocky thing, I'm going to be taking out to put in another hydrangea over here. I'm going to have a row of, I'm going to think I'm going to add two, two or three more hydrangea along this back fence area. Everything else I'm taking out. And then I've got a daylily and another daylily over there. Those will stay, but this yarrow I'm going to change, take out and put somewhere else. I'm not sure where. And then this is probably the spot right here where one of the um, boxwoods will go. One, one will go in here. And then these are all rose bushes back here, which will be taken out. They just don't do very well. This one here is a carpet rose that I think I'm going to keep for this season anyways. And then back over there is um, Black Eyed Susans, which I need to cut down the old stocks. And then I've got a Japanese Tiny Tim, Tiny Jim, I can't remember. Anyways, it's a hydrangea, not a hydrangea, lilac back in there, small lilac, which hasn't really done very well. And then I've got a whole bunch of phlox in here. And then over there, a moonbeam, what do you call it? I cannot remember, moonbeam something or another, but it's got a whole bunch of yellow flowers and it's one of my favorite plants. So, so that's what's happening. And I think I'm gonna put the other boxwood in this area right here. I don't have anything in here. I think it'll go in here somewhere. It'll probably end up being more like in the middle here. And then back here, I'm going to plant zinnias along this edge. And then this is all new area that I put in at the very end of the season last year, which I need to obviously remove the grass and put in some mulch. So this will be a little walkway into the garden over here. And the garden itself is not going to get anything done with it this year because I plan to revamp this whole thing this summer for next summer because I did not get it done before the summer started. So, and then this area along the tree line, I have a huge hosta in the front yard, which I'm going to split up and put maybe three or four along this area because the grass does not grow very well in this area because it's always in full sun or full shade from these pine trees. So that is the plan for over here. Other than that, how you doing Shelby girl? <laughs> so that is my gardening plan in the front yard. I'm really not going to add too much. Um, I don't know what I want to do out there yet. So. If I add anything, it won't be until the end of spring and more into the summer um, because I cannot figure out what I want to do. The end of last year, I was ready to tear out my whole front garden, um, but now I'm like, well, I'll find some easy care plants that I can keep up there. So right now, I'm just kind of see what comes up and how it fills in, and then maybe I'll do something around it. I don't really know. My hair's doing some weird things. So anyways, I was a little bummed that Menards didn't have as many plants, but we were talking to the, the lady that worked out there and she says tomorrow is the day where they're getting a bazillion plants in. So going tomorrow and see if I can't get some limelight hydrangeas because I love them so much. I have some down over in there. I have two of them there and they do really well and so does that one. And then I have one in the corner over here on the other side of the hammock. So yeah, they do really well in my yard and I love it because the flowers, they'll bloom early and then the flowers are white all summer long and then they turn into like this pink color that is just gorgeous. So I love it because my favorite though is that the plants are all white all season long and then I've got a lot of green grass and then white flowers and I, I just really like it lately. The green and the white together has just been my favorite and then I've got pops of yellow and pops of pink in there also so yeah that's what I'm going for so now I just need to find basically impatience is what I went to go look for today and they really didn't have very many they had a couple of white and a couple of red and the white were okay 
but I like the like super duper pale pink ones that look almost white. Those are the kind that I like the most. That and the pink ones. So I have some planters here. I'll switch you around. So I'm building a planter to go along here and I want to put the impatience in there because obviously, you know, it's in full shade all the time. And then over here, I have this big um, planter that I always put impatience in also. And then down here, I also have another big container that I put impatience in because most of the time they are in full shade most of the day. So that is my plan. Those planters are leftovers from last year, which I will be moving, and I have a new plant planter that I bought on Girls Weekend. And then I need to redo my little area down here. Oh, and then I have this. I normally have this inside. I put a Christmas tree in it at Christmas time, and then the rest of the year it's used for blankets and stuff. But I decided to bring it outside to this year. So I'm going to get one of those huge Boston ferns and put in there. So that may move like over there on the other side of the little walkway is kind of what I'm thinking. So I don't know. And then right here I have my little bench, but I want to um, build a potting, or potting bench for in here. So yeah, that is my plan. So there you go. So there's my little impromptu planning stage for my backyard garden. I'm trying to keep everything really super simple this year because last year I just couldn't keep up with the amount of time that we were away like on camping trips and stuff. It seemed like if I was home a weekend I was preparing to be gone. You know what I mean? Or there was something going on like every single weekend. So it's been crazy. So anyways yeah so this year simplicity is the key but I still want to feel like I get that, that, those flowers that I like. So that is the plan. So I need to stop talking because my alarm is going off and I need to go pick up Jasmine already. So huh, it's that time of the day already. So I will try to get the dog in and I will see you later. Good morning. It is Friday morning and the kids are off to school. JJ's working and I am on my way to the grocery store. I found out last night that I am going to the cabin this weekend. Yay! I'm so excited! So my sister and I and my mom and dad are going out down to the cabin and we're going to do some camping and some campfire sitting and some kayaking and it's going to be fabulous. The weather is going to be amazing. So yeah, so now I need to go to the grocery stores because I need to get food for myself and food for my people so they don't starve while I'm gone. So that is my goal for this morning. And then I need to get packed up and get myself ready to go. And I'm so excited. So I have not been to the cabin in a really long time. And the fact that we get to go kayaking too is like super exciting because I love kayaking. So, and there'll be no kids. There'll be a kid free weekend which will be really nice. We did this last year also for Mother's Day weekend and it was so nice and so relaxing. And so yeah, we're doing it again this year because it was so wonderful. So I am totally psyched and just like jumping out of, out of my skin with excitement because I didn't think it was gonna happen because things are really busy, but my husband's like, just go. I will take care of the stuff here at home. So yeah, I'm very excited. So I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to get off to the grocery store. So I will talk to you later. Bye. I am back from the store. Um, got all that done. I got all my prep food ready to go. I'm about ready to sit down and have lunch. And then it is almost, I think it's already almost 1.30 already. Pretty soon it's going to be time to go get the kids already, which is craziness. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so I am pretty much all packed up. I am just bringing one backpack and a small cooler and one small bag of food because my cooler is so small that, you know, it doesn't hold anything but what's needed. So, all right, I'll see you later. Bye.
morning. It is Saturday morning and we made it to the cabin last night with no problem. And then we sat around the campfire and we had a delightful night's sleep. I went to bed about 10 o'clock. I was just out. It was awesome. So this morning we woke up. Mom and Dad are going to get some sand and we are going to work on a little paving project. I'll turn you around and show you what we're doing. We're going to add to this walkway here with some more bricks like what's over here. So that's our project for the day. And then once we get our project done this afternoon after lunch, we are going to go kayaking. Yay! So we're just taking a slow, easy morning and now we're going to get a little bit of work done. And it will be a glorious, it's a gorgeous day out today. It's supposed to get kind of rather warm this afternoon. So it'll be good to be on the river. So very exciting. <laughs> Talk to you later. So we are on the river. We just got into our kayak. So we found a treasure already. Dad found a treasure into the waters. And we're just starting. And it's beautiful out here. It's, the water's still really cold though. But we got myself and mom and dad. I don't know if you'll be able to see them over there. And then Carrie and her friend Amy are down over there. And look at how beautiful it is. Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. Um, we're still at the cabin as you can see and I'm not sure what we're doing today. Right now we're sitting around the fire. We're having a good old time and we just had breakfast and now yeah that's about where we're at at this moment. So maybe get another four-wheeling ride in today and some more campfire time so before we have to leave. I'm not sure what time we're leaving today but that's okay, because mm -hmm. we're not in a hurry. So I will check in with you later. Bye.